All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to open up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well and preached the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the Hopi elect. And this is uh, the brother Amawan Ayash from the uh, GMS Indianapolis camp coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. And uh, pretty much, <clears throat> this is uh, an article I stumbled across on the uh, news break app, uh, I want to say sometime uh, last night. And as you can see by the headlines, ASN new uh, uh, CV variant, okay, rising across the U.S. As you can read by the headline, CV variant LB1 is rising across the U.S. Here's what you need to know about it. And also, we understand that these various different diseases all right, that are emerging and these various different pestilences that are coming to pass are all a part of um, um, end time prophecy and amongst the plagues which Yahweh Bashmi Ashai has uh, intended to send upon the earth in these last days as a form of judgment upon transgressors, man. So, Let's um, um, start here. Okay, of course, as always, in the book of uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, because our Lord Yahweh Shai, he foretold us of these things that will come to pass, man, in these last days, right? Matthew chapter 24, verse 7, these are words in the red letters, so these are the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai. It says, for nation shall rise against nation, a kingdom against kingdom. It says, and there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. These are the various different things that we are seeing come to pass in these latter days, okay, leading up to the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. See, because also before our Lord Yahweh Shai all right, makes his return, all right, a lot of judgment is going to be, okay, going forth, all right? And also the Lord, the reason why the Lord is bringing all these judgments from the earth, because like uh, Second Ezra 15 chapter says, what, wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all right, they've long time held their peace, man. And now ultimately we're in a time of judgment, okay? And one of the various different forms of judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to use to kill people is what? That pestilence, you see? And what's the most, what's the, besides uh, what we're talking about right now, all right, we know that the most talked about, <clears throat> okay, disease that's out there is what? That bird flu, which ultimately that's still on the table, man. So the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is bringing these various different pestilences and diseases to come to pass, man, because he's about to execute great judgment in the earth. All right. Verse eight, it says all these are the beginning of sorrow. So ultimately, the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is getting started, man. So ultimately, the things we see now, all right, the various different plagues you know, and events we see take place now. Also, we know according to scripture, because once again, Yahweh Shai just said that these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. Also, we understand it's going to get much worse from this point on, man. All right, so only expect the judgments that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is raining, about, uh, raining upon the earth these latter days to get worse, man. Because that's what's going to happen, right? And uh, let's go here to the book of... Um, uh, Jeremiah chapter 28, beginning in verse 7. It says, Nevertheless... Hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. It's ultimately, hey, this is the same sentiment that stands here today, okay, for uh, the kingdom of Babylon, a.k.a. modern, uh, modern uh, America, man. See, the Lord has his men out there on the highways and byways. Okay, week in, week out. And also the Lord has his man throwing up these various different video epistles daily. All right. Prophesying against America. All right. Telling America of the coming woes. All right. That are destined to hit the planet Earth, man. And especially America. And once again, the reason why the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is doing this is because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole Earth, man. And we know America all right, is definitely the hub of wickedness, man. Right, here, here in America is where the most wickedness take place. So it makes sense that the, the, the that the main judgments are are coming here to America, man. Because once again, here is where the most wickedness uh, wickedness takes place, man. Okay, so hey, let's go on to um this article. All right, it says uh, let's read the headline again. It says uh, CV variant LB one is rising across the U.S. Here's what you need to know about it. It says that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is tracking the growth of the CV-19 LB1 variant as it begins to trail KP3. It says for a two-week period starting on June 9th, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> so 
like <coughs> Salaki. It says for a two week period starting on June 9th and ending June 22nd, the CDC's now cast data track to show the project the projections of the CV19 variants. The KP3 variant accounts for 33.1%. It says a positive infections followed by KP2 at 20.8%. The new variant LB1 was at 17.5% of infections in JN1, the previous uh, ring leader since 2023. Slack you, forgive me. <coughs> it says um, the previous ring leader since 2023 only had 1.6% of positive cases. Since the information was made public that the LB1 variant is on a rise, the CDC monitoring the CDC is monitoring the variant's rate of infection. It says we can tell you we can tell you that the variant LB1 has a potential to, to infect some people more easily based on a single deletion and a spike and a spike protein. CDC uh, spokesperson Dave uh, Daigle said in a statement to USA Today. Says Daigle said that this spike of the LB1 variant is like the one seen in, in JN1 lineages. Rosa Norman, a CDC spokesperson, uh, previously told USA Today that JN1 only saw a spike, excuse me, only saw a single change and spike unlike the KP3 variant, a sub lineage of the JN1. It says, uh, which had two changes and spike. It says, um, all right, let's see. It says, what is the LB1 variant? It says, the LB1 variant is the newest CV19 variant that is circulating in the United States. So, hey, man, we could possibly, you know, be looking, <clears throat> you know, whether it's caused by the bird flu or, or whether the Lord Yahweh Bashmi uh, uses this new strain, okay? But ultimately, we could, you know, be seeing <clears throat> lockdowns again all right, and, and, and uh, drastic measures taken once again because what? During the first lockdown, okay, it was a certain time. All right, you had to be in the house. You had curfews. Um, you were limited to uh, what you could buy at the store. It was like, what, two two, uh, uh, two items per person of certain things that you wanted to buy at the store. So, hey, man. And we know, really, man, it's only it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get worse this time around. So whether, you know, the, the Lord decides to do it by the bird flu or this new CV variant that's rising, Guess what? We know either way, all right, it's only going to go downhill and continue to go downhill, downhill for America, you know? And a lot of people are getting ready to die by way of pestilence. Um, <clears throat> it says, will this variant be as detrimental as previous CV-19 variants? It says, um, with the information that the CDC has available right now, there is no indication that the LB1 variant uh, poses a serious risk. It says there is currently no evidence that LB1 causes more severe disease, Daigle said. It says the CDC has not said if LB1 has its own specific symptoms. However, the government agency outlines the basic symptoms of CV19 on its website, which uh, down here it says fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, yada, yada, yada. Uh, And you know what? I'm going to just uh, close out the article right there. But, hey, man, we in that time, you know, where, hey, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, he's getting ready to, 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 to turn shit up in the earth, man. All right? You know, the, these plagues that he intends to bring upon the earth in these last days, all right, they coming. All right? But, hey, man, let's get some more scriptures. And uh, <clears throat> as always, man, hey, that'll wrap up the lesson. So let's grab this and um, select you. Ezekiel chapter 14. I'm getting in verse 19. It says, Or if I send a pestilence into that land and pour out my fairy upon it in blood to cut off from a man and beast, though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, which ultimately these times Noah, Daniel, and Job represent who? The elect. So ultimately, hey, these are one of the four sword judgments all right, which the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai intends all right, to bring upon the earth in these last days. So as it goes on to say, 
though Noah, Dale, and Job were in it, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, um, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their own righteousness, man. Ultimately, a the elect they were uh, uh, they were chosen from before the foundation of the earth. But also, we understand that the elect, man, they're doing the things that's pleasing to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. And the Lord, and he smiles upon that. So, also in the Lord, he's going to reward everybody according to their works, man, whether they be good or evil. Right? And also in the elect, man, they're going to be rewarded with salvation. And those outside of the elect, man, two-thirds of our people, you know, the heathen nations, man, they they, they were just uh, collateral damage to begin with. Okay? They're going to be consumed by these plagues that the Lord is bringing upon the earth in these last days, man. Right? <clears throat> This is uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 14, beginning in verse 11. It says, Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Pray not for this people, for they're good. And ultimately, hey, the ones that we're not supposed to pray about, it really goes into two thirds of our people. <coughs> you see, because, you know, the angel of the Lord <coughs> told, it, excuse me, <coughs> the angel of the Lord told Ezra, and the second edge of the ninth chapter uh, to be not curious about how the ungodly shall be punished and when right but inquire how the righteous shall be saved because when it comes to, to the ungodly man when it comes to the sinners of our people all right the lord already has their judgment determined man okay let's hop over to the next chapter real quick okay jeremiah chapter 15 beginning in verse one it says then said the lord yahweh unto me though moses and samuel stood before me Yet my mind cannot be toward this people, which also be Moses and Samuel represented what? The law and the prophets. It says, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. <clears throat> so also hey, the Lord, he's fed up with the majority of his people right now. Right? The Lord is fed up with two thirds, man. So, you know, and, and, and the Lord's pretty much saying, like, like, look, hey, I'm finna kill these niggas, man. You know, they, they, they didn't been doing too much fucking wickedness on the earth. I gave them a chance to repent. And they, they didn't they didn't take heed to it, so I'm just gonna fucking kill these niggas. That's what that's that's what it is. Right? Verse 2. It says, And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, such as are for death to death. And also we understand the Lord Yahweh by Shah getting ready to bring death, okay, by way of pestilence, man. You see, man, them sicknesses, man, they ain't they ain't no fucking joke, man. The Lord, he, he could tear you, he could tear you to fuck up, you know, from the inside, all right, with these various different diseases, man. That shit, that ain't that ain't no comfortable thing to do with, man. You know, so hey, man, the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai ain't playing with these plagues, okay? It says, um, <clears throat> and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity, and I will appoint over them four kinds, said the Lord Yahweh. The sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. So ultimately, hey, the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, okay, is bringing numerous, okay, judgments, all right, in these last days to bring death upon transgressors and sinners, man. Now, in this case, we're talking about pestilence, but a hey, pestilence is just amongst, you know, one of the many plagues, okay, that Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is uh, determined to bring in these last days. So jump back to uh, Jeremiah 14. Okay, I'm gonna read uh, verse 12. It says, uh, uh, When they fast, I will not hear their cry, and when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. So, else me, hey, the Lord, the Lord not hearing all right, the, uh, the prayers okay, of the wicked of our people in that day. You see, because also, hey, hey, Jake, you know, the, you know, Jake got liberty right now, all right, to, to, to repent to Yahweh by Shemashah and turn back. But also, hey, hey, like second, there's the ninth chapter says. All right, they understood not, and they despised it. And what does it say after that? The same shall know it after death by pain. So when the Lord brings judgment, okay, upon the bulk of our people, and they start dying off in the droves by these very different plagues, all right, they going to know, all right, after death by pain, that the Lord was trying to reach out to them. Okay, but they what? They, uh, 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 uh what was that? What's that? Uh, 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 Zechariah 7, I believe, where it says they snatched the shoulder. Right, because ultimately two thirds of our people, man, you know, the wicked of our people, they're not trying to hear, you know, <coughs> anything <coughs> about righteousness, you know, or coming back to Yahweh by Shmi And ultimately, that decision that, you know, that decision is going to come back to kick you know, two thirds of our people in the ass, man. 
And when all hell breaks loose and the Lord is just letting these plagues uh, 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 free. Okay. So going on, it says, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. So these are judgments, man. And the Lord is about to make a lot of niggas sick. Okay. In these last days. And once again, a lot of a, a lot of Israelites and a lot of people in general is getting ready to die. Okay, by these by the uh, by way of these very different pestilences, man. Okay, because hey, we talk about the 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 the, uh, the new CV variant, right? But a hey, bird flu is still on the table, man. And that hey, they they've been talking about that for a minute. So hey, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, pertaining to these two, um, you no know, Lord willing, something soon. Uh, but hey, man, we just gotta you know buckle up and just you know enjoy the ride for uh, lack of better terms, man. You know, just 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 see what the Lord gonna do. All right, um, let's grab this and uh, and we'll close out here, okay? And uh, second Ezra, uh, the fifteenth chapter. We'll jump straight to the point. Verse 49, it says, I will send plagues upon thee, a widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, is, is bringing about these very different pestilences, all right, for the purpose, okay, of bringing evil <coughs> and death upon transgressors and sinners, man. You know, so, hey, I'm going to close out right there. And uh, I pray that this lesson was edifying to the body. And I pray that you got something out of this. And uh, without further ado, I would like to close out. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I would like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well and preached the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Lord, as I see in the next lesson. Till then, Shalom.